Good morning, everybody. Dashing Dink coming at you with another day of DoorDash. We are currently just heading into the south side of town. I've got both apps on, and we're gonna see what we can get today, but I need to apologize for a couple of things. First of all, I'm sorry there was no video yesterday. I've just, ugh, I've had so much going on, and I'm, I think I've got one thing out of the way. Now I just gotta worry about finishing up the remodel. We are close, we are so close. But uh, I'll get the video out to you today. And secondly, uh, I, wanted, I want to apologize because today's video will probably be somewhat short. I have to do my W-2 again today, but I want to be able to get home in time to um, edit and get a video out. So we're going to do as much as we can today. I don't know how busy it's going to be, but uh, we're just about into town. We're, we're in the zone. So I'll let you know when we get the first order. All right, we have made it to the mall parking lot, our favorite place to park. And I just wanted to let you guys know, this, this is wild. I, I've never seen this. It is raining. I mean, it is flipping raining on February, what is it, 8th? In northern Minnesota, we have absolutely just a small tiny amount of snow on the ground and that's where they pushed it up into piles otherwise there's grass rain I mean it's literally raining hard like very not very hard but like it's getting the windows wet when we drive Incoming message. Incoming message. and we got our first order of the day let's take a look seven dollars plus to go 1.4 miles from Starbucks. I'll go ahead and take a screenshot of that. And obviously we're gonna accept that. That's a good order. Seven plus to go 1.4 miles. All right, it's in the queue. Let's head on over to Starbucks. We'll grab that order and today we're working in the rain. Good morning, Starbucks crew. How's it going? Good, you? Uh huh, good. <laughs> been, been at it since early? Ah, uh, no, I just got, just went on about 7.45. <laughs> it was a little bit earlier than that, but I only got one order until now, so. <laughs> GoProing your uh, dashing area? I got a YouTube channel. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, nice. So. I think uh, I think Friday and Saturday, but I do Instacart also. Oh, okay, cool. So is I think, there Instacart right here? Oh yeah. Okay, there. I don't. Uh, that's more recent though, isn't it? Um, I've been on it for about four months, but no, it's okay. it's been here for at seems least like a I year. Looked into a when I signed up was a year ago. Mm -hmm. It seems like I looked into it and it couldn't see that they were here, but yeah, no, they're here, but okay. I, I was on a wait list for like three months. Okay. I was talking to a guy the other day and he said his, uh, he has 100% acceptance rate. He just takes everything. I just did a challenge where okay. I took every order okay, to, yeah. to get back to 100%. For Emma? Emma, thank you. And I still- It's hard I, to get to 100% because you got to do 100, at least 100 orders. And I honestly didn't it, even yeah. get there. I got to 98, but there were two, two different times when DoorDash tried to send me a stack, but I didn't get an alert. And then I finally got the text message that said we tried to send oh, you an man, order. I love when they do that. And I'm like, yeah, that happens to me now. I again. said, guys, I got to 98, but in my mind, it's 100 <laughs> because DoorDash app screwed exactly. me. All right, man, have a good one. Thank you, you guys. All right, everyone, we got the order for Emma in the hot catering bag, <laughs> and we're just heading over here to Ann Street, which is what I like to call Medical Row because that's where all the medical facilities are. But I ran into the gentleman I was talking to in there. He's been dashing for a year and already at 3,000. It blows my mind. I, I wish I had the opportunity to do this a lot more. But um, on my way out, I ran into uh, Bev and John. They were just pulling in. So Bev was running in to get an order. So seeing all kinds of people today <laughs> out here in the world of DoorDash. But 
Let's get this over to Emma. It's $7 plus. We'll see what the plus ends up being. for Emma. Thank I, you. Got, I got to take a picture of it. I'm okay. sorry. No, you're fine. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. All right, everyone. I don't know if you saw that. We got the order delivered to Emma and I went to hit complete and it went up to 750. So pretty good order to start the day. We had a little bit of wait time and so on and so forth, but it's a decent order to start the day. So let's go get some more. All right, just as soon as I shut the camera off, we got another order. And the last one was $7 plus from Starbucks. This one, and ended up being $7.50. Now this one is $7.50 from Starbucks. And it was to go 2.8 miles. So another good order. Let's run on over back to Starbucks, pick it up. Thank you very much. Have a good day. All right, we got the uh, order for Eric picked up at Starbucks. We got some wait time at Starbucks today, but they're always so busy. They got all the people coming in before work, all the people coming in before school, they got online orders that they're putting on the countertop, waiting for people to pick up, and oh man. But, we're gonna get this over there and go grab the 750. All right, Eric, thank you so much for your order. I appreciate your business. Enjoy your Starbucks and have a wonderful day. All right, guys, I just got an offer. It was a shopping offer. Let me shut off these wipers. Um, it was a shopping offer from Target. It was for nine items for $6.83, going like three point some miles. I initially accepted it. And then once I looked at the items, I unassigned it because it's all these weird, like eyelashes and fingernails and uh, it's so hard to shop for that stuff. It takes forever. If it would have been food or just regular household items, I would have done it, but I unassigned that one. So we're now setting at 99% um, for our completed orders <laughs> but just wanted to let you guys know I did take a screenshot so you'll see it all right everyone we just got a good offer finally high pay order $14.86 to go and get six items from Dollar General so we're gonna head on over to Dollar General. We're gonna get it. I forgot to look at the mileage. <laughs> I was so excited about the 1486. I didn't even look at the mileage, but I don't think it looked that far. It looked like it was single digit. So it's gotta be at least a buck and a half, right? I think for a high pay offer. So buck and a half per mile. But let's head on over to Division Street Dollar General and get this stuff. All right, guys, I just found out and realized we've got a peak pay going on right now. We get an extra dollar per offer. So this was a 1386. I would have taken it anyway, and I know exactly where it's going now. So it's not that bad. Let's go get it.
How's it going, man? Good. Here we go. Sweet tarts. Chewy ropes. I got collision, rainbow, and they want cherry. Cherry something. Cherry punch. I'm not seeing cherry punch here. Oh, sweet tarts, cherry ropes. Item unavailable. Alright, so we're getting the twisted rainbow. Alright, twisted rainbow. Scan. Scan successful. Monster. All right, we got that. Let's see, Meow Mix Poultry, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looks like they are out. Let me just take a quick look and see. Yeah. Item unavailable. Um, customer approved Frisky's Bits. Canned. 12 count. Is that this? But they only have two. Let me try this. All right, they only have two. Unfortunately. And we need the toilet paper. Every single item this person wants. Item unavailable. So. Uh, let's do Angel Soft. Can we do that? All right, let's go to the checkout. Got some hungry kitty cat on? Aha, I'm doing DoorDash. Oh, okay. And let me know now if you don't want to be on camera because I'm recording for YouTube. So. Heck yeah, I do. Wave, say hi. Oh, how's it going? <laughs> these are my Dollar General peeps. They do a great a job. He's got a YouTube channel and he's recording. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay. Yep, we'll talk to you later. Confirm. All right, we got this uh, Dollar General order picked up for Christopher I believe and uh, I'm sorry for the wipers it's raining so <laughs> but um, we're heading out here to this uh, trailer court that I have delivered to hundreds of times different trailers different people but I've delivered to this place too so we'll head on over there we'll drop this off and get this 15 bucks All right, thank you so much for your order. Have a wonderful day. All right, we just got the Dollar General dropped off. We're slightly outside of the zone. We'll be back in here shortly. But um, this peak pay of $1 extra per order goes until 9.59. So, we have got about a half an hour left, and we've only had three orders today, but we're sitting at 30 bucks. That's an average of 10 bucks an order, which isn't bad. But uh, I've got about 15 minutes before the second hour of our dash is up, and it would be nice to get 10 more dollars 
in that 15 minutes so we can be at that $20 an hour average. But I don't know if it'll happen or not, but we'll see. Uh, with the dollar peak pay, you never know. We might get a we might get a banger coming up here. So last one was really good. Let's get back in the zone, see what we get. Well, we made it back to the mall parking lot. Our favorite place to park. And unfortunately, we didn't get an order. I mean, it showed hot spots. It rolled through the cycle that it was on and went into the next 10 minute rotation. And I said we had busy hot spots from Hardee's, the South McDonald's, and the North McDonald's. But I also wanted to say very quickly that, um, you know, I gotta get a, give a little bit of education each video if I can. <clears throat> we have a peak pay of $1 per delivery or per order right now going until 10 o'clock. A lot of times if DoorDash doesn't just throw a peak pay out there randomly, they will do it for weather. We are getting weather. And I don't know if that's why they're doing the peak pay. They think people won't be out or whatever. But a um, lot of times when we get snow, which we haven't gotten much of this year, um, they will put peak pay on. So watch your area. If you know there's weather coming in, like let's say you watch the weather the night before or whatever, might be a good opportunity to go out and make a little bit of extra money because if it's a fairly strong thunderstorm or if you are in an area where you do get snow and you have the ability to be safe and go out there and have you know all wheel drive or four wheel drive or something like that, might be a great opportunity for you to stay busy and get uh, decent money for your orders because it will keep other dashers at home if the weather's bad and DoorDash will usually put a peak pay on if they see that there's not a lot of dashers signed in. So great opportunities can be had. You just got to watch your market, keep an eye on things. All right, here we go. We got a high pay offer, $6 to go 1.2 miles from Starbucks. I was kind of getting excited. Aldi's was all lit up and for a hot zone I was hoping to get a banger um, Aldi's DoorDash order but we got the Starbucks one instead I'm gonna take it because it's six bucks to go one mile basically so let's head on over to Starbucks grab this order and go make six bucks <laughs> yeah busy but there's a lot of us out here so yeah. <laughs> thank you yep bye bye well this segment here goes out to just a dot on the map <laughs> Starbucks is being slow as molasses today so the other day when the order was ready to go, that was a fluke. But luckily, we're just going right down the road here about two blocks to drop it off. So here we go. I have an order for Stephanie. Steph, she called me. Just call me. She's outside having us. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Yes, you too. All right, well, everyone, we got the order dropped off for Stephanie at Menards from Starbucks. We're currently making our way through the main part of the north end of town, but I'm gonna cruise to the south end of town because it's after 10 o'clock now. And if I wanna get a video out before I go to work today, I need to get home and get editing. All right, guys, we uh, we went all the way through the south end of town. We did not get a single order on DoorDash. So I just stopped at my W2, grabbed some coffee, and we're going to head on home and we're going to edit. So I want to thank you guys for riding along with me again. Um, I'm sorry that we're not getting many orders right now. I promise it will eventually pick up and i will be out for longer days i'm just trying to button up a couple of things that um, i started here at home 
Thank you guys for subscribing, for watching, for liking, for sharing, commenting, all that stuff. I really do appreciate it. Um, I'm starting to really connect with a pretty large um, group when it comes to the gig community. And I enjoy every single one of them, dashing across America, gig gal, just a dot on the map. Um, there, there's so many others. And I just wanna thank um, all of you for checking out my content, hopefully enjoying it. And honestly, if you guys have any suggestions, if there's some things that you wanna see, you know, I try to make this a little bit educational each time I come out try to give a little tidbit of information something that I've come across run across um, have had has had happened to me whatever um, to give you guys just a little bit of advice and a little bit of information but if there's something that you want to see as far as uh, a video you know maybe you want to see me uh, do earn by time for you know a couple of shifts maybe you want to see me go out and do a shift until I earn 200 bucks or something like that. Um, whatever the case might be, leave your comments down below. Let me know what it is you wanna see from Dashing Dink and I'll do my best to accommodate. Uh, I'm in a really small market, so I'm limited. All I have is DoorDash and Instacart in my area. So thanks again, I appreciate it. And this is Dashing Dink saying, until the next dash.